right, we're gonna play around with the accessory drive tonight. I got a few hours here, it's Friday night. Um, I'm not gonna mess with the steering box. It's gonna be the first thing I was gonna do. But, I'm having some problems with my daily driver. So, tomorrow and Saturday, I'm gonna have to push this out and bring the daily driver in here and try to fix it. So, we'll play around a little bit about the, the different accessory brackets because it was all new to me. There's three different depths of accessory brackets and it's based on basically the depth of the crank pulley um, and uh, kind of had to work with that. There's three types. There's the tightest one against the block which is Corvette Cadillac and as I found out G8 and then the next one is the uh, Camaro um, pulley and then the truck pulley which is the one that comes out the farthest. Of course, the cheapest one to get brackets for and where you can use some of the existing brackets is the truck, and that I don't have. Um, this is a G8 motor, and it is modeled after the Cadillac and Corvette. So it's the tightest one against the block. Uh, LS Brackets makes sets for all the different spacings. You just got to tell them what you have, and they'll send it to you. Uh, it changes a little bit what you can do with power steering pump. Uh, I could not use a pump reservoir combination. I have to use a remote reservoir, which adds some expense to it. And um, I have to use that water pump that I have. I could change and use a less expensive bracket system if I wanted to get a new water pump and a new crank pulley. But at the time I looked at the cost of that, I just went ahead and stuck with the um, Corvette style I have, which would be nice. It'll just give me a lot more room to turn the radiator. This pile right here, is the actual accessory bracket. Ordered that from alicebrackets.com. Basically came with these two aluminum plates, spacers, and all the mounting hardware for a power steering and alternator only accessory drive. No air conditioning or anything like that. Looks like a pretty nice kit. Uh, we'll see how well it bolts in. This is the alternator. This is off of a 2004 Chevy truck. I believe it's a 105 amp alternator. Truck had 110,000 miles on it should be okay. We'll find out. This pile here is for actually the power steering conversion that I'm going to do on the car. The car currently has a manual steering gear on it. I want to convert to power. So the steering box this is the power steering box. I want to dry fit that in here with the bracket because it's a lot bigger than the manual box and there might be clearance problems. To do the conversion I had to get a new pitman arm. That's off of a 70 1970 Chevelle and a new rag joint which is what connects to the uh, steering column on the car that'll mate to the column and this box here. This box here is actually for a 1997 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is supposed to be a direct bolt-in. I believe it's a Saginaw 800 series box but it's better than the old boxes because it's a quicker ratio and it's a better feel at the wheel um, than the old power boxes. This pile here is the power steering pump. The pump is for a 1993 Buick Century. And the pulley is, I believe it was off of a mid-90s Cadillac, or for a mid-90s Cadillac. Uh, this is a remote reservoir pump, so that's why it's small. You don't see the, uh, the, the reservoir, but that's what works with the brackets. Uh, the so one of the first things I'm going to have to do is put the... Uh, Put the water pump back on because some of the bracket mounting goes to the water pump. So I will go ahead and do that. For the bracket setup, I do need to use an idler pulley and the tensioner from my old setup. When I bought the motor, that's the pulley I took off. Um, don't need the spacers or the bolt. Just need the pulley. LS Brackets comes with this spacer here and this bolt and nut. So how this works Okay, real is, simple, it's on. And that's the other pulley. You can see the spacer in there behind there. So it goes on with these spacers here first. Uh, these are the longer spacers. I'm going to put this all on here. I'm not using the washers and all that stuff because, uh, again, this is all dry fit. It's all going to have to come out. Um, and I'm pulling the engine out to do the front end work. Um, but, again, I want to make sure that everything is set up here. So 
so that I'm not going to have fit problems after I get everything painted up and cleaned up nice. This one goes down here. Um, the Alice Brackets kit does come with all the hardware, which is pretty darn nice, I have to admit. You don't have to worry about trying to find the bolts that you need and scrounging around for those. Goes in here. For sure, this thing looks really sturdy. It looks like it's 3 8 aluminum, which should make everything um, real nice and rigid. This is a little piece. It's going to go against the block here. The alternator fits here, which you'll see uh, when I get to it. And then there's the shorter spacers. So I've tightened down the bolts. I just want to kind of show you. It's, it's a really nice setup. Um, it mounts in one, two, three, four, five locations with those spacers. Solid to the head, solid to the block. Um, it's all okay, really nice. Power stirring stuff. pump again. It's a remote reservoir. Um, that goes in right here with uh, the supply bolts. Like this. Let's see. Yep. Again, with the supplied bolts. And here's my uh, tensioner from the old motor. That bolts on and back onto the water pump over here. The last thing really is the pulley for the power steering pump. Uh, I don't have the tool to mount this properly, but essentially it's going to go on right there. And uh, looks like there'll be plenty of clearance by the steering box. Uh, again, the power box is a lot bigger. We'll see when we get the power box in. But again, I'm not taking the box out here because I have to push the car out to work on my daily driver tomorrow. But everything looked like it bolted up pretty nice. All right, that's the setup. It's all on. I don't have a belt yet, so what I did was put a piece of twine on it so you can kind of see how the belt, the belt, um, uh, you know, route will go. Uh, it's not bad. It's all tucked up pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with it. And the power steering, pulley, and pump and stuff so that um, tomorrow, hopefully, after I get done with my daily driver, figure out what's wrong with it, uh, get that power or that manual box out.